ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel my name is ah, wait intro all right welcome back guys today i'm going to show you how to cartoon yourself like a pro create a new file and give it a name please and please don't skip anything because you might skip something important and for the width we are going to use 2400 400 pixels 2400 pixels and for the height we are going to use 3000 pixels make sure it is measured in pixels not points, not inches, make sure it is pixels. Now we are good to go and click create. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is to import our picture. Place it there, then click E on your keyboard. Data E. transform it let's adjust the artboard a little bit so that we can draw the whole picture now use the selection tool shortcut key is V on your keyboard click the picture and reduce the opacity lock the image layer and create another layer on top of the image layer and use your brush. I already have my brushes. I made that tutorial how to create a how to create an art brush. Make the fill color to none and the stroke color to, to black. Make sure it is black. Zoom into the image and adjust the size of your brush. Hold left click on your mouse or your touchpad and start tracing like this. Adjust the size. Then we are going to make the size thick now. Double click on the brush and make sure it is smooth like mine. Then start tracing. Hold left click on your keyboard when on your mouse or your touchpad and trace like this. Oh my god, did you see that? I like the brush. Oh my god. And if you want to undo is Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Ctrl plus Z. Now do the same for the other eye. To make it invisible, click the eye on your image layer to see what you have drawn. You are going to trace everything. Now we are going to trace the nose. Make sure the nose and the eye and the mouth they are all in thick size but when tracing the body you can make the size of the brush very very big a little bit but when drawing the eyes nose and the mouth make sure it is thick
now we are going to draw the outer lines now we are going to make it big when drawing the inner lines make it thick very very thick but when drawing the outer lines make it big and there we go On the eyebrows, we are going to fill it with with black. Now use pencil so you should cut keys in. Swap the colors. Make make sure you fill is the fill color is black. Now we we'll click on the pencil so make sure it is smooth like mine. Then hold left click on your mouse or touchpad and start tracing it. Don't release your finger until you are going to close it. Now we'll go for the eyeball. We are going to fill it with black again, like we did to the eyebrow. And for the head, first trace it with calligraphic brush. First trace the hair first before filling it. Then click and on your keyboard for pencil to fill the color then start tracing it.
make sure you have connect all the lines make sure you have closed every area as we can see there are some lines that are not closed then we are going to close them outside the ad board make sure it is outside the ad board Now we are done with the lines, we are going to color. Use the selection tool and select all the lines. Go to object and select expand appearance. Go to your pathfinder and select merge. Then duplicate the layer, lock the top layer, then I will go to my swatches and upload my colors. I have made a tutorial on how to create a skin tone and save it on your swatches. Select the main skin color. Use the shape tool, the shortcut key is M, and cover the entire art. Use the selection tool and right click on the color and go to the arrange, send to back. Now select them together. Go to your pathfinder and select merge. If you don't have pathfinder, go to your windows and search for pathfinder. It's there. Then right click and select isolate selected group. Click the space you don't want to use and click backspace on your keyboard and delete it. Then select your colors. You can set, you can hold shift on your keyboard to select several areas if you are going to use the same color for them. As you can see there are some skin colors inside the hair. So to delete them, expand the group. So scroll down. Find where the black lines have started. Then lock them all. except the top layer then right click and exit isolate selected groups again click the color and right click isolate selected group zoom in then select them and backspace and delete them
duplicate the colored layer again so that when we are painting on the skin color it won't appear on any other color except the skin color I select selected group again for the top layer then click the skin color click on select similar object it will tag all the skin color then backspace and delete it Z. then lock the layer and create an another layer below the layer that's where we are going to have our shadows find a dark color to make the shadow make sure you are looking at the picture the original picture in your phone or somewhere else beside you there make sure you are looking at it me i'm looking at it on my phone Where, wherever i see a dark shadow i will trace it there the picture using the pencil tool the shortcut key is n don't forget then trace it like this
now when you are done with the color then create another layer below the if you are using the light the light um, color if the color you are going to use is lighter than the previous color you have used then create a, another layer below if it is light is blue when if it is darker than the previous color you have done then it is above the, the layer Now we are going to use the dark color. Now we are going to create another layer on top of the two layer because the color we are going to use now is darker than the two color we have used. That's why we are putting it on top of them. Save this at the back of your mind. The dark color is on top. It's always on top. The light color is always below. That's the thing. Understand this. Then you are done. And then for the highlight, create another layer below all the shadows.
then when you are done with the skin shadows and the highlight any any shadow you are going to make for anything make sure the the layer you are going to create is above the the second to the last layer i have done like the way i do 